back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I've filmed a what's in my makeup kit video. So if you would like to see what I keep in my makeup kit and what I use regularly then please keep on watching. And if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look it will be linked down below. It is a first impressions. So let's jump right in and please make sure you subscribe and like this video for more. So this here is how I like to travel with my kit. Basically it's just a large case. It has lots of different compartments and it actually has four wheels. So it is a lot easier to move around. So I'm just going to start by showing you what I keep in my little compartments. It does have different locks. It has a lock here, two at the side and two at the back so it is very secure. So first of all in this little compartment we basically just have essentials. Um, I have some scissors, some eyelash glue, some hand sanitizer, a sharpener, a little powder puff and some mascara ones. And in this compartment is where I like to keep all my base products. So I have some different moisturisers. I have my simple one, I have my um, Brio Lacey one and I like to keep my strobe cream, my professional and a Peely's base up here and basically underneath this is just all concealers and I like to use my Revolution concealer. I do have a few e.l.f. concealers but I'm not entirely sure how I feel about them yet and I have some illuminators. So these drawers just open up like this although you can pull them in. So now you have a kind of better setup with your drawers if you want to work from these drawers. I usually take out what I need and work from there. So over here we have all my lip pencils, eye pencils and glosses. The only glosses I tend to use are my peaches and cream glosses. These are amazing and they are all nudes. And then here this is my Linda Halberg Infinity Glass. This is amazing for glossy lips but this can also be used on the face and the eyes. It is beautiful on the eyes. And then here we have all brow products and eye products. So I have my Revolution Brow Pomades. I've been really loving them at the moment. Um, my NYX Team and Frame. And I do have one Anastasia Brow Pomade. I used to only have Anastasia Brow Pomades but I feel like they dry out so 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 fast. Um, they're just not worth it at all. So this is just the shade Top. That I have left, I got rid of my brown ones and replaced them with my Revolution and NYX. I have my Inglot 76 gel liner, this is just a plain white gel liner. And of course my little Maybelline liner. And I also have two jumbo pencils from NYX. These are just the black and the white, I find them really ha handy to have. Um, just a little Maybelline mascara, you really don't need to spend a lot on mascaras. And then I just have some brow gels. So next over here we have all of my pigments and glitters are right at the back. My glitters are Give Face Cosmetics. Those are really really affordable and really beautiful glitters. Over here we have my Jordana Base and Sparkles. These basically come with a little base which you just pop on and then you have the pigment part underneath. And these are really beautiful for more soft eyes. And then all the pigments I have are just from Peaches and Cream. I also have the pigment drops. These are very good for if you want to make a liner. And then just a standard glitter glue from Revolution. So now onto here. This is kind of a match match drawer. And um, we have some neon liners. These are by Silver Beauty. Um, I've not really played around with these too much. I will be playing around with them more so for festival season. And then I just have some neon pigments. These are from Lynn's Locks. They're so affordable and so pigmented. And then I have some of my Stila Magnificent Metals. Again, they're really good. And at the back here we have some of my Urban Decay glitter liners. Um, which are good just to and pop a look. So now once you close these and just push them to the side 
there's this big empty space so I'm actually going to pack my kit right now by just filling up with palettes I would take and my foundations etc. So of course one of my go-to palettes is my James Charles palette. Um, this is just a really standard palette that I use every single day. This is what it looks like. It has every colour possible so that is clearly lights of my kit just because it's so handy for you know, almost every look. So I like to keep all the palettes at the bottom of my kit and these just slide in very nicely. And now this is a brand new palette. Um, if you watch my first impressions, which will be linked down below, this is the eyeshadow palette I used, which I'm in love with. As you can see, it's all pinks and purples, so I'm actually going to be adding that into my kit. Now, of course, I have different palettes that I take on different occasions. So basically, I judge on who I've got in and what kind of day it is. Like, so this weekend, I know I have a wedding guests in so I know I'm not going to be doing really bright colours but I'm going to be having models in for festival looks so I know I will need some bright colours and then like sort of a normal weekend would be different to like a festival weekend. A festival weekend you will need really bright colours so this weekend I won't be taking too many bright coloured palettes it will be more so neutrals. So now I actually have the Morphe 35P and this is a really strange palette to have but it is full of cool toned colours and I find that I don't have too many cool toned colours so when someone asks for like a cool toned look or shows me a cool toned picture I do really struggle so this is why I like to keep this palette just because I know that I can go here for cool toned browns and along with that I like to take this little Morphe Z palette and again this is just filled with cool tone colours so I do like to keep my cool tones in here. And next I like to take my Peely's Secret Center palette. So I'm really not the biggest fan of this palette, especially the purple. It really does not work at all and as you can see I have scraped off, I've tried everything. But I do like this, if someone's asking for a more pinky eye, I will use this because I have the different tones of pink. So I like to keep that in my kit. And then just for the little pops of colour, I like to keep my Be Perfect Turnable palette with Stacey Marie. This just has all your colour in it you could need. So this is why this comes with me, because I really prefer the blues, pinks and oranges to the James Charles palette. And then these are just some standard palettes that I'll always have with me for neutrals. This is the P. Louise, this is just the original palette. Um, as you can see, it's very just standard shades, just your yellows, oranges and reds, so I like to have that with me. My Soft Glam palette is one of my most used palettes, as you can see. So that will always, always, always be in my kit. And my Modern Re Renaissance, which will always, always be in my kit. So that's all for eyeshadows, now I have my lip palettes. So basically, I don't like working from lipsticks or anything, I find it a lot easier to just depot them and make into my own palette. So this little MAC palette and every lipstick in here is MAC. So you can see I've just got all my nudes, my red, my darker colours down here and they are all labelled up here so I know what ones they are if anyone wants to know the shade. So this just is really handy and it is really hygienic and um, a lot better than working from lipsticks. And here we have my Anastasia lip palette which is very messy. Um, I use this on eyes as well as lips as eye safe and they make really good liners for the waterline. So that's my two lip palettes. So the rest of my kit I kind of like to keep in bags. So this is my foundation bag. So here I like to have my Maybelline Super Stays. These are really good but I would not recommend using on dry skin. Here I have my MAC foundations. And up here I also have some Maybelline Fit Me's. And on the other side I just have again some MAC, some more Fit Me's up the top. And some MAC face and bodies which are really good for more mature skin. And I have some NYX custom cover drops just to change the colour. So up here I have a few different powders. These are just my Revolution skin finishes. These are a really good drip for the... MAC Mineralize Skin Finishes 
basically they just add a really nice glow to the skin so if you're finding you look a little bit cakey a little bit dry just use a big fluffy brush and sweep these all over the face and it will just bring that glow back and up here i have my rcma translucent powder i do prefer this to the no color powder so that is all for my foundation bag so next we have a little bag with most of my powders in it so the only bronzers i tend to use are my mac skin, mineralized skin finishes i have different shades of them um, I do have a few NYX bronzers, but I don't have them in my kit. I have some Ofra highlights. I have a really white one, and I have more for tan. I have my Doll Beauty one. And then I have my Jordana Lots of Love blush, which is just a really nice shimmery blush. I don't tend to go for matte blushes. I just think shimmery blushes look 10 times better. They make the skin look amazing. And then I also have my little Milani Luminoso. This is my favourite blush ever. I use this on pretty much everyone, which is why I only tend to keep two blushes in my kit because I use Luminoso on everyone, no matter what their skin tone is. It looks amazing. So that's all for my little powder case. These little cases I will link down below. You can just get them from Amazon. So they are really easy to get and they're really easy to just keep everything nice and condensed. I used to just have everything lying about my kit and it just was not good. So now that we're pretty much done, I have my Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea, which I like to keep on top. I just, I love using this to just soak in all the powders. It isn't a setting spray, but I prefer it. And these are my little vitamin C wipes. So I just use these before I put anything on the skin. So this is the brush cleaner I like to always have in my kit. This is very cheap, it's only 99p. Um, you can get it in home bargains, savers, etc. And it's just a little spray bottle. So I like to use this for in between clients. And I will always have with me a little towel just to clean my brushes and to set some stuff on. And then I just have some cotton pads for cleaning up eyeshadow under the eyes. Um, I'm trying to stop using makeup wipes just because I find that using one full makeup wipe per client when the only thing that I'm really doing with it is wiping away shadow. It's just really wasteful and I go through so much money with makeup wipes just because obviously you only get about 25 in a packet and that's over within like a weekend so the money does add up. So now I just use some cotton pads and some micellar water which I need to go buy more of. So this is a little bag that I like to keep all my lashes in. Again, this is just the biggest version of the bags which my foundations and powders are in. So, pretty much all my lashes are tatty lashes. I have all the styles going backwards. So, this will all be T9s, T3s, T5s, T7s. I have some down the sides. Then if I turn it over, we'll have T17 and T6s. And then in here, I have some of my more natural lashes. So at the back here, as you can see, I have some of my Eldora lashes, which I used to buy when I was just starting out because I thought they were really cheap once I got the makeup artist discount. But it actually worked out to be cheaper buying in bulk my tatty lashes. So the only Eldora lashes I have left are my more natural ones. And here I have some Ardell Wispies, Ardell Demi Wispies. And then just a few packs of lashes from Amazon, which are actually really good and they do look like normal lashes. Um, I like to use those lashes for when I have models in, just so I'm not using my tatty lashes because of course they are quite expensive. And then up here I just have a few little mini glues, which I do give to my clients with their lash case. So that is pretty much it for lashes it's very straightforward self-explanatory and this i just carry because it won't fit in my case so yeah that is everything i like to keep in my kit so i hope that's helped you out if you're looking to be a makeup artist or if you just don't know what to have in your kit obviously there are things i could add to my kit but this is basically what i would use every single weekend so if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to like and subscribe 
for some more videos and I will see you soon.